Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So today I thought we could play with, I had this old envelope. I have quite a few old envelopes because I have a friend who um, gifted all of her mom's um, cards and envelopes and things like that to me. So this was a graduation announcement. So there was this envelope and then there was another envelope inside and then there was a card inside of that. So um, we're going to try to use I mean, we're not going to use every piece of it, but we're going to use most of it. So what we're going to do first is play with this. And I'm sure you've seen these because they've kind of been all over Instagram and everything else, um, making little books out of an old envelope. So I just have some, um, you know, scrap pieces of coffee dyed paper, this um, graph paper, some uh, pieces from Joey Cardmaker's um, kit, the portraits. This was actually an envelope. I tore the envelope because I liked those and I wasn't going to use the envelope at the moment. So I tore the envelope to get those. <clears throat> Some avocado dyed ledger and then those, those are the, the backs of those pages. So I just thought that was kind of a fun little um, combination of papers. But first I need to fix this envelope a bit. It's uh, from, here's this one from, 1949, 48 or 49. It's sort of hard to tell on that, but I think it might be 49. Oh my goodness. I forgot to rinse this out yesterday. It's not always the way you forget until you go to use it again. And then you're like, oh yeah, it's not working very good. <laughs> it's being a pill. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing fantastic. I am doing well. It is just foggy and icky cold and miserable out today so yeah but I'll take it over all that snow I had last week for sure so I'm going to close this top part and open it on the sides I just I want it to open that way and I like the way this is all like torn and stuff so I don't want to like cover that with other paper so I'm just gonna put just a little bit of glue up here at the top to hold it closed and leave all that nice <clears throat> old kind of ruffly paper from it being torn open. So yes, I want to say hugs and blessings to Sandy O, Karen, and Betty. Thank you guys so much for your super kind comments and just um, enjoying my channel and just being lovely. So thank you. I'm just going to use my scissors or attempt to anyway, because I just want, you know, a super thin bit off of this just to open the envelope. It doesn't have to be any specific amount. It doesn't matter what size your envelope is. This is just, you know, sort of standard whatever size they used for graduation announcements. And if you don't have old envelopes like these ones, you can just do this with, you know, newer envelopes and you could coffee dye them or tea dye them and then um, put, you know, some kind of old-ish stamp. It doesn't have to be super old stamp, but, you know, if you if you bought some stamps to use for um, crafting, just put a stamp on there or even put, if you have like some newer ones you've saved, um, put some ink on them or something like that and then you can stamp anything on them really any kind of little circle like sometimes I'll just even use the this is a hairspray lid or you know even these textural type things just it just makes a mark on them so that they look like they're canceled I don't think it has to be I mean if you have postage postal type stamps then you know those that's obviously going to look the most authentic but you don't have to have that so just use whatever you got around to make some marks on your stamp get everything all inked up and coffee dyed or whatever and it'll it'll pass for sure so how you guys doing I hope everybody's staying warm and good or cool if you live in a place where you need to stay cool. <laughs> Lucky you is what I got to say about that right now. 
I'm not a fan of winter. It was super foggy this morning too, but it's warmer, so it's really weird. Usually when it's foggy, it's below freezing, but um, not today. But that snow is going away very quickly, which makes me very happy. I am not sad to see it go. I can't remember who it, who it was. Um, was it Gloria? I don't know. I'm so bad, you guys, because I read the comments and, um, you know, by the time you read the whole stack of them or whatever, I can't remember who said what. You know, I remember things that people said, but not, like, specifically, usually. But anyways, mentioning how they love how beautiful snow is. Um, but do know it is a pain and it's like, yeah, it really, <laughs> it's one of those things. And I made a comment back about, it's kind of like, uh, makes me think of like super beautiful women, not all because there are many beautiful women that are not high maintenance, but I'm talking about the ones that are high maintenance, um, beautiful, but a lot of work, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's kind of what snow is to me. <laughs> Wow, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of work. Uh, I was so happy when my husband got home so he could deal with that gutter in the back because um, I just struggle even up on something and I couldn't get the big ladder out there because there was so much ice and snow. And, and yeah, so anyways, I was just very happy when he got home and then literally the next day it started to rain. I mean, we still had to deal with it because at that time it was still full of ice, but anyway, I'm going to use my book cradle just because it's easy to poke the holes. I don't have a book I want to poke holes in right now, so I'm using my book cradle. This is what the book cradles are intended for is to help you. It's just an assist so that you can poke your holes on your spine without... Um, going off one direction or the other and ending up with, you know, not a very attractive looking spine. So that's all it's for because it's got this little, I call it a gutter or something in there, you know, a little spot that the awl can go into and not go slipping out that way or slipping out that way. So they're just handy. They're just handy dandy like that. And if you ever go to my Etsy shop, and don't see them there you can contact me but we're always printing them it's just sometimes I run out but um yeah it's like a constant wow I went really low with that but oh well um it's just a constant that we do I'm actually gonna go this way I don't know what I'm doing so I go out through the middle which is definitely not the middle but anyway and then back in through the top and I go down to the bottom. This type of sewing and signatures is my kind of sewing and signatures. <laughs> um, much easier, let me just say. And then back through the middle. Then a big journal, because you're not fighting it so much. It's a lot easier. <laughs> so anyway, that's how I do it. I usually try to get it more in the middle, but hey, it'll hold it together, and that's all that matters. I don't worry so much when it's a little book like this because as long as it holds together that's all that matters and then I take off my clips before I tie it oh and you have to make sure that one of the strings is on the right side and one is on the left side of this central string so that's how you do that and then we're just going to tie a couple of knots and a bow and voila we have a sewn-in signature If it was only always so easy, right? I think most of my problem is it, I get in my head about it. Done it a thousand times, you'd think I would get over it, but I think it's just scary because you're so scared you're gonna mess up <laughs> your book that you've been working so diligently on and everything, you know? So yeah, it's just a little bit, a little bit of a uh, eek moment, I guess. And then you can trim these, you can leave them long and hang things off of them, all that, all that jazz. Look, however you want to do it. And I usually do put just a dot of glue on the knot just to, you know, make sure that it's 
It's like even this one already. Some of these threads, like this is upholstery thread, or even the waxed threads, loosen up fairly easily. Like they just, they just do. The wax is a little better, but I always tend to stitch back through the wax um, thread because it's a little fatter. So I don't like, I like this better. So I'm going to set that here for a second and we will start working on maybe some of the cards. So what I did is I cut this um, announcement in half already because it was a card, right? So, and it opened all the way out into fours, you know. So I cut this off of that one and then I cut them in half because I'm going to fold them in half and put them in the pockets, the side pockets, just those little writing spots. Ooh, yeah, they're cracking. So I will put some, probably some of the faux um, tape over it. Old paper cracks, that's just, that's normal. Put away all my bits before I lose them. Put it away, Amy. <laughs> Before you lose it, and then you'll be looking everywhere for it. All right, so we're just gonna take some of our faux tape, and I just made some more, I wonder what I did with it, and put it along the back. I am going to add a little, I think I might cut it in half, it's a little wide. Add a little bit of glue, just because it's been um, painted with alcohol ink, and it's, I mean, it feels sticky, but I just don't want it lifting. So I'm going to put glue on it. You do not have to. It's just going to help hold it on that fold. Regardless. Yeah, this is just regular old scotch tape. The clear is better than the like foggy sort of one. I mean, the other one works, but, and then you just paint the alcohol ink on whatever brand you have and let it dry and it only takes just moments. And then it looks like the old, you know, scotch tape that's been sitting around for ages, ages and ages. And if there's a certain color of book cradle that you're looking for, just let me know. And if I have it, um, I can definitely print it for you at that time, or I can order a different color if they make it. And, um, but it'll take, you know, a little bit longer to get that one done, but it's doable. So just let me know. I usually do have at least one in the shop, but it just depends. If my friend Gail Agustinelli shows them on her YouTube channel is usually when I get a big sellout. She's so sweet to do that, you know, mention that for me. She does seem to like it, though. She uses it regularly, so that's a good thing. I like mine. Very handy, handy dandy. Oh, this one's gonna. Um... Yeah, we really do try to always keep them in the shop. All right, so I'll fold this one now because it's probably okay to fold. Still got a little lift right there. That's why I glue it. Because it likes to be difficult. It is just scotch tape after all. Is it lifting? Nope, nowhere back there. So those will just go into the pockets. So this is just a super easy and kind of a fun way if you have these things, like if your parents um, left them or 
you know, you have some from when you were in high school and you're like, why am I keeping these? Because we all do it. Um, you know, this is kind of a fun little way to use them up and still have a fun, something you could keep, you know, you could fold it so that like this, all the information was still in there somehow and then have it so you could still see it, but use it for something else too. Those will go in the pockets, but we probably should do some decorating, huh? So I think, <clears throat> I don't wanna, you know, obviously cover this whole thing, but I do kinda usually like to cover up the um, address just cause I don't feel like, I mean, nobody, none of these people are at these addresses, but I don't know, I just like to cover them up myself. But that's, again, a total, up to you sort of thing. I'm just going to use bits of stuff that I have sitting here. any real exciting stuff to talk about today. I just have been, you know, running errands and my daughter's birthday's coming and just waiting to hear when that baby's born. <laughs> and all those kind of things, but everything's just kind of chugging along right now. It's all good. So that's the good part. What else I want to use on there? Some old wallpaper, perhaps. I definitely got some use out of this wallpaper. I should probably order some more from her and get it all dyed, coffee dyed. It's just kind of fun to have. It just adds a little, a little something. I'm actually going to go ahead and use this. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't make a plan for how I was going to decorate this one. I just uh, got it out and I was like, yeah, I want to make one of those. And I keep forgetting to make one. So we're making one today because I keep seeing them on Instagram. And it's like, I've done stuff like that, but. You know, like everything, we just tend to forget about it. So, yeah. I know if I want snowy anything. I'm kind of over the... I'm over it. I kind of just want one of the... Photo booth. Photo booth photos. You know, like something like that. That was a good grab. That's probably right around that time period. Somewhere, anyway. Close. 48, 49. Might be a little earlier, but it's close enough. Especially for just reaching in the bag and grabbing. I love these photo booth photos. Took me a long time to figure out what in the world to do with them. Like I had them hanging around forever. But they're really great to just plunk down.
They're fun to play with. That edge is all gone on the actual real one. And we could put like a little phrase or scene or something. What a fun little book. You could send it um, in happy mail or, you know, even use it like a birthday card would be fun. Put a little greeting on the inside. I have my little, I have my little sayings over here. I have these snarky ones. They're not always my favorite, but if we can find one that's not too, too snarky. <laughs> I mean, a lot of them aren't bad. I just uh, don't use them. Uh... Yes, these are just aren't nice. Well, I guess I don't have to have a word. I thought I had my other ones out here, but I don't see them. Could use one of these, maybe. It's not wanting to stay glued down. It's being difficult. I guess I will just do a little stamping and call that done. This one, this is a Stampin' Up stamp. I don't know much about it. <laughs> I actually got it on um, Etsy, so like used already. So not sure. Not a lot of info there on it. But who knows, you might be able to find one. Okay, that'll work. And that I might just leave just because it doesn't really matter. And then what are we gonna do to the cards? I don't know. They're actually just kind of great for writing on. I have got the black all over me. All I have to do is touch that and I just get it everywhere. I'll just add a little bit of the yellow um, these <laughs> embroidery pieces. These are in my Etsy shop. I have yellow, cream, pink, blue, purple. I think that's it. I think that's all of them. Do I want to use this on edge? The advantage of a digital is you can just print it again. Um, how do I want to do this? So a little over here. Hmm. 
And then I'll probably need, I don't know what. <sighs> That's what happens when I don't plan. given to me um, in an order that I got. This one's cute too. I think I'll use both of those for the covers of those little books. Since they're just right here on my desk, we're doing a what's on my desk, I guess, today. <laughs> Since I didn't do very good planning. Sometimes it's kind of fun just to see where it takes you, right? I mean, planning is always good. I do like to do that. Okay, let's glue this down. And then we'll glue her down, and then we'll glue the little girl on the other one. Stuck to my glue page. <laughs> I can probably put this. Oh, there's her thing right there. That's where I got my wallpaper. I think it's Ricky Tiki Tabby or something like that on Instagram. I'm awful with remembering these things. So, oh, I forgot to glue this part down. I have her saved in my Etsy, you know, favorites or whatever, so I know I'll be able to find her again, but I think I'm remembering everybody's names of their shops and Instagram accounts and all that. Well, there's just so many, and like her Instagram account isn't the same name as her shop, and so then I get totally confused. It's, it's not hard to confuse me, honestly. <laughs> I don't know what time period that is. That looks to be... Hmm. Thinking... 30s? Somewhere, maybe? I don't really know. This will go in here. I hope. Yes. <laughs> I forgot I never even checked to make sure the size was right. And then we'll put this cutie patootie. On the other one, I'm going to cut these edges off. Cute, cute, cute. I think I had a coat kind of like that, kind of. It's a little different, but... I don't think it was as... Uh, belled out on the bottom or, or whatever you would call that. Let's tear the same sort of type. I think I just tore it too skinny, didn't I? Oh, we're going to go with it because that's what we got. We'll just rough up these edges instead of tearing them. a really quick, easy background, that's for sure. Quick and easy. The other envelope that I have an idea for, I don't think I'll decorate the whole thing. I'm just going to give you another envelope idea with it. This is a great use of these, though, if you especially got a bunch of like a um, 
thrift store or something like that and you're just like or an estate sale and you're like i don't even know these people i don't know anything about this you can i'm kind of thinking this is a sticker um i might be wrong you can just do these type of things with them and then they get their second life which is awesome because a lot of times these things, these like these ones that I'm using right now were slated for probably the garbage can because nobody in the family really wanted them. You know, they just, if you don't have a use, like you don't do this kind of stuff or whatever, or somebody just isn't wanting them really bad, then what do you do, you know? So at least this gives them a, a second life. I like that idea. So cute. She is so cute. <laughs> so that I'm just going to put in there that way. I know it's backwards from... You could turn it the other way if you wanted, but this is the back of the, the book. So that's what I'm doing. And then I saw a lot of people use like bulldog clips on them and stuff like that. I think I'm just going to try... I don't know if any of these will work. I don't have another big... Um, what do you call it? Paper clip. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to figure that out. Probably some twine around there to hold it. But yeah, just a fun little, and you can write on all of this. You could even write on these. Or you could uh, put more paper of some kind on there. But you don't want to get them too, too thick because then it's, it's going to be not fun. I wonder if this one will work. I mean, it's not, it's not great because it does stick up a little bit. It is going to leave the rusty mark, but that's okay. I like this site. <laughs> Are you ready to choke me yet? <laughs> I have to get it just the way I want it. Yeah, I don't know. That might work. I mean, it definitely holds it together. So, yeah, those are fun. You could make a whole slew of those if you had enough envelopes. Um, so now this one, this was the envelope inside of the envelope. We're going to fold it in half again. And this one, this part, the flap is loose. So I'm just gonna glue it on this center bit right here. Oops, didn't need to go that high. I'm gonna just get it everywhere and then go like this. And then you have a little tuck spot. So you can do I want this one to cut open from the top or what size are these? Probably do the side thing again. I did not fold that very evenly at all. I don't want to mess with it too much. I think I'll open the side, but you could also open the top. So, um, this will just square this up. <laughs> There's no stamps or any writing or anything on this one, so it's, it's not that big of a deal. Then these could go in here. I need to cut them down. This is just scraps from a manila. Oh, that's nice. Um, manila file folder. Project of some sort. And then, I think most of these pieces are too big, but let's see what we got in here. Some Holtz items. These were gifted to me. That one would work. I'm just giving you an idea. You can decorate it all however you like. These old postcards are cool, but they're too big. Maps and these. Oh, that one would work. That one would work well. Actually, let's put that one on the front. 
what I think would be the front. It's just another idea with an envelope. Especially if you have some old plain ones like this. And then if you had a journal page, let's just pretend this is a page in your journal, you can hook it onto said page at the bottom or up here in the middle, whatever. Um, glue maybe here and here and have a tuck there, or you could do glue down the back side and across here and have, you know, that kind of a tuck. And then when you turn the page, you'll have the same thing on this side. You could even, if you don't want it to be like permanently affixed, you can just do that. And voila, it's on your page. And you have two pockets here and two here. And then if you want, you can tuck something like even a bigger uh, postcard or whatever in back behind like that. So you actually have three spots that you can tuck ephemera. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the little envelope play we did today. And, oh, I want to show you really quick before we go. I finished this. Well, I didn't finish it because I think I am going to put fabric there, but I'll probably bring it back and show you again. But anyways, I did add a few little things. Like, I think I added that little piece of tape. Um, didn't add anything there. I added the stamp. I didn't add anything here. I was thinking I did. Added some more tape up there. Oh, the stamp here and the washi sticker, which is hard to see. Added this uh, Tim Holtz flower just as a, you know, little tuck. And then here I just did tape and some Roman numerals there. And so that's basically done. I'm just going to probably put a little fabric over it, but you wouldn't have to. It doesn't look bad. So anyway, that's all done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will chat with you again soon. Love you. Bye.